Hey, good Saturday afternoon to everybody. Um, this is week five of our the updates for uh, this uh, Take That Hill completely stupid but not utterly pointless hill climb event that we are doing here in North Carolina uh, in Alexander County uh, to support the mission of Purple Heart Homes. Um, Purple Heart Homes, a 501c3 nonprofit that seeks to improve the lives of veterans through critical home repair, safety, and accessibility renovations for disabled veterans all over the country. Um, we've done work in 38 to 40 states and uh, all the way, and we have chapters from Alaska all the way to Florida now. And so uh, um, this cycling event um, is, uh, we're going to raise money and, uh, and awareness for the mission of Purple Heart Homes. We're gathering together a team, uh, a team of uh, 10 uh, cyclists uh, to ride up Barrett Mountain. It's two miles up and two miles down. And two miles up, it's an elevation gain of 654 feet thereabouts. And uh, we're going to attempt to uh, go up that mountain 16 times in one day to achieve an elevation gain of everybody on our team. Everybody achieves uh, 10,000 feet of elevation gain. And so uh, we are uh, really excited about uh, that's coming up in about 12 weeks. We've been training hard. Uh, our team's been training hard. Everybody's kind of training individually and uh, uh, getting ready for that event. And so uh, we're really excited about it. There's sponsorships available uh, for this. We're going to be making up uh, team kits, uh, jerseys and bibs. Uh, to wear uh, the day of the ride and so if you're interested in sponsoring and getting your company's logo on our kits or perhaps on our promotional materials and uh, um, uh, talked about in our social media platforms for Purple Heart Homes uh, we can uh, hook you up on that so uh, we are so excited that both of our local bike shops uh, here in Statesville are participating in this uh, Crossroads Cycling and First Flight Bikes are both uh, uh, lending their skill and expertise uh, in this and uh, so uh, we're very excited to have both of those shops uh, on board helping us out um, and uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a really, really, really good day. Uh, last week I, I focused on, on uh, my friend Don Franklin who's going to ride with us. Uh, this week uh, I want to talk about a couple of our sponsors. Um, that we do have on board. Uh, we have F3 of Lake Norman. Um, I shared a little bit about them last week, but F3 of Lake Norman is a group of men down in the, down in the Lake Norman, North Carolina area, Davidson, Cornelius, uh, um, uh, Huntersville area. Uh, these men get together and work out in the gloom is what we call it early in the morning. And, uh, but they don't just work out. They, they, uh, they make a huge impact on their community. And so we're very thankful that they've uh, chipped in to, to help uh, get this event going. And then Mossy Oak Realty uh, here in Statesville, um, they're a great realtor here, especially when it comes to land, uh, farmland and farm properties and things like that. Mossy Oak does a great job and my buddy Nick Marinelli is, uh, heads that team up. And so they're, they're awesome folks. And both of those organizations have chipped in to help this. And so, uh, the other initiative that I do want to tell you about is we've um, we've put something additional in to take that hill. We decided that um, you know when I was in Iraq, uh, we used to fly flags for people uh, at, at our bases, and those of us have you know been to Afghanistan or whatever, you run a flag up the flagpole out in front of your headquarters, and you lower it down, and then you box it up, fold it up, blue side stars out uh, in the triangle shape, right? And, and ship that home with a certificate saying, hey, this flag, flag was flown in honor uh, of you. And so what we're gonna do uh, with Take That Hill, something similar, uh, we're going to uh, have little flags. They're like boat flags, so they're about yay big, probably the size of a sheet of, this sheet of paper, something like that, right? Um, and we're gonna tri-fold them up and each rider is gonna carry flags up the hill. And so you'll have uh, folks that would like to uh, uh, honor uh, a veteran in their family. Uh, perhaps it's someone that you've lost. Uh, perhaps you know someone that, that uh, is no longer with us, uh, whether they were lost in combat or, or uh, you know, uh, through uh, just uh, uh, live in life and, and uh, they're no longer with us, but you want to cherish that memory. You want to do something to remember them. Uh, what you can do is you can sponsor a flag. And so what will happen is, is uh, these flags will be tucked in the back pocket of a, of a cycling jersey and uh, it'll be carried to the top of the mountain. And so uh, your veteran, uh, your loved one uh, can take that hill as well. 
And so what we'll do is we'll be use that as a fundraiser. So if you'd like to sponsor a flag going up, we'll have more coming out about that as the as the event gets uh, as, as the event gets closer. Uh, but you'll get the flag that was carried to the top, and we'll send you a certificate saying this flag was taken to the top of uh, Barrett Mountain in honor of in honor of your veteran. And so uh, we're really excited about doing that. The other thing that I want to make sure everybody knows is that um, if you know anything, if you listen to radio in 30 or 40 markets uh, around the country, there's a duo uh, called Woody and Wilcox. They come on in the mornings and they're silly uh, and very funny and also really good guys and really good friends of ours. And uh, Woody is actually going to ride um, the, this event. And so Woody has a um, Woody's tr plans for training for this event. Woody's a mountain biker. And so mountain, mountain bikers are, are, are weird guys. Uh, they, they ride in the woods all the time. They love downhill stuff, evidently. So I was telling Woody, I said, okay, we'd love to have you participate in this, but this is an uphill event. We're going uphill. We will go downhill because we've got to go downhill to get uphill. But I was telling Woody, you're going to need to train for this event. So um, you'll see he's, he thinks that going downhill really fast and jumping things on his mountain bike is going to get him uh, ready for this. So uh, uh, I, I told him today, he sent me a text message, told me he was going to do some downhill training. And I said, you should keep with the self-talk because it's going to really help in your training. And so uh, uh, we are uh, uh, very excited and looking forward to seeing what Woody will do on Barrett Mountain in about 12 weeks. So uh, I've got a little video of Woody's training that will be following this. And so, uh, again, just thank you for your time. Thanks for uh, tuning in these brief minutes. And uh, um, I hope uh, everyone has an awesome week. I'll update you next week as, uh, as things uh, progress. And uh, um, we're really looking forward to it. So thanks so much. Right here, Woody says, if you listen closely, you can hear him coming down the trail because he's so fat.